Hi y'all, it's Mario. My daily exhaustion has just kicked in. And I'm like, oh no, dang it, dang it, dang it. And I was uh, saying, I like, you know, if I am to talk, maybe perhaps faster my brain will go. Um, so I've done one of these things and I need to do one, two, three, four, five, five more. And then I can move back to what I switched from. Um, this is for a bank for Uto called Miri Say. She is a Jin Ricky of Miriam Stockley, but do not call it Miriam because that is a trademark violation. Okay, let's get back to work. I saved this already, so that's okay. Now I just need to copy and paste this. Now you will see that I made there a pause. Because that sounds better to me than crossfading. But a lot of people don't like pauses. So I'm making a vowel section for them. Let's start by making the lineup of the phases. And it goes like here to here. And does it sound good yet? It's not the best, but we'll make it better. We are going to click and turn on envelopes. Envelopes can be really tricky to figure out in Audacity. You've got the inside envelope, which you can go like, Wee! Woo And you've got the outside envelope that can go, Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> um, so we're going to make you go, Boop. And we're going to make you go, All right, so how's this sound now? Yay! Now we're gonna go to another next one. Why is it like this? Why is it so... Why is it? I made it, but I don't know why it's so weird. Like, you know, I can't make the words at the moment to describe, but, huh. Yay! Now we gotta do it again. I don't know why that uh is so big. I could fix it, but I don't think I should. Yay! Ah, e, u, e, 
this is going to be air, air. I hope no one thinks I'm scolding them. <laughs> and then I guess I'm going to make it go like that. Does it sound bad? No, it does not. That makes me happy. It keeps making points and I don't want it to. This isn't a debate team audacity. <laughs> I made a joke. Does it sound okay? Now we're going to bring out Mr. Envelopes. Yay! Now this one. Let's take this right here and go like that. Seven minutes, okay. And you go goodbye, Mr. Eh. <laughs> Mr. Eh. Sounds like Mr. Ed. Mr. Ed was the stable genius. Because he was a horse that could talk, of course, of course. And he lived in a stable. We didn't have CGI back in the day. So what they did was to make Mr. Ed talk, they put peanut butter in a horse's mouth. <laughs> and everyone was just okay with the fact that Mr. Ed's lips Aren't sinking <laughs> with uh, the audio. Like if someone was doing a bad lip reading of Mr. Ed, it'd be like wham, 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 wham. Ah man. <laughs> so. What's <laughs> wrong with me? <laughs> okay, the, the envelopes. The envelopes aren't working. Uh, the envelopes. There's too many points. Okay.
TV show from like a billion years ago that I watched once or twice because my ex and I didn't have cable. We got offered. We got offered to um, use the house had cable. TV, but Max and I just like, you're like, no, we'd rather not watch cable than pay for cable. <laughs> Which I, I agree with. Because there was no DVR. Everything you would want to watch live that you can't easily get online, like, you know. I had like, I, I couldn't live with cable, but no DVR. Yeah, I'd rather... And like, it was Los Angeles, dude. It was Los Angeles. There were like a bajillion over-the-air channels and they were in different languages and um they had a bunch of pbs like six pbs stations and like pbs is the best you know i could have watched my little pony if we had cable because the old man, <laughs> he was a really nice guy. He would let, uh, like sometimes kids would show up, just kids, and he'd let them watch Discovery Family from the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> like, I definitely wouldn't have done it back then. Because it would have not been worth the, so, you know, like, eh, blah, 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 you kid, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I was 19, what do you expect? <laughs> I had a way. Like, I could have watched My Little Pony on the television. But I didn't watch My Little Pony on the television. But, um, I am kind of glad I didn't because I have no interest in going back and watching the seasons I missed. Because I like it's crazy um like Twilight gets her wings and you're like wow show over ruined but then it ends up being like really like good you know and it's like yay it was good no. Nah. Because, like, randomly giving Twilight wings, 
like kind of did make it feel like kind of like it was just straight up going to be ruined because we had no idea it was up their sleeves and I think there is a slight chance that they didn't know that they even had sleeves to put things in. You know, like, why'd they do it? Was it because Hasbro wanted toys with wings? Because they wanted pink Celestia. You know, I don't know why. But yeah, I like there's this show, right? And it was a show about this girl, but she was a special girl because she. <laughs> okay, so this is freaking ridiculous. Okay, so there was this, I think her name was Patty Duke, but don't quote me on that. She got, a, they made a show for her where she played two roles. And she, like, they did actually do green screen, well not green screen, but composite shots in the intro, but they never show up on screen at the same time in the show itself. Except for, you know, like, she's talking to someone and there's someone who obviously isn't Patty Duke staring at her to show that the two people are in the room, but whatever. But, okay, now, call me out if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is so niche and random that no one is gonna be able to call me out. Especially if I got the name wrong. Okay, so, Lindsay Lohan, when she was at the Parent Trap, who was she playing? Twin sisters. Who was Patty Duke playing in the Patty Duke show? Cousins. They were literally the same act actor and instead of being like, you know, twin sisters, they were cousins who randomly looked just like each other. Like, how did they make that decision? That is such a weird decision. Yay! Let's listen to all of them now. Yay! Export! Export is live. How long have we been talking about stuff? 18 minutes. Alrighty, let's go and work on another one. Yay! I got distracted. So the thing in the files alphabet, so in is wrong place according to Japanese, but right place according to English, and I get confused. Thank you. 
Now we're gonna go in here and we're just gonna take this and that and cut it. I think that's good enough. No, none of the fancy schmancy. I'm gonna envelope now because, you know. Zero crossing. Zero crossing. Happy. Okay, it went squish. It went squish. Yay. It that much. I don't think that was the properly. What? No. Where'd you go? Go here. Why that? Uh. Uh. Oh. Okay. Put it out of order. <laughs> this is so weird. Uh, maybe. Just a little. Just a little. And now, what's it sound like? Maybe... Wait. And I'm sorry about that. Mm, it's not that good. And the reason is because um, I it's a gin ricky. <laughs> it's a gin ricky, and I was limited. I had to actually take that in mm from a section that went ooh, but it sounded close enough to an n. That I think it was an in, but I shouldn't call it an in because it's a mm, 
R N N G, but not just uh, N. It's different, and I think that's why I was able to do the thing that I just described. Zoom is in, zoom. And then we're gonna cut, cut, cut. Why? Why did you want to move? Why? Why are you going there? What am I clicking to make you do that? I'm feeling that I am in my envelopes. Envelopes. This one needs envelopes. Time shift tool, multi tool. Don't know what that means. I was like, wow, going so fast. And I was like, it made the S sound. I was like, oh, not as fast as I thought. How many more of the? Oh, only one more file after this one. Yay. Is that what I wanted? If you don't like these, you can just use the regular vowels. They exist, you know. Let's
Yay, let's listen to them all now. like a kindness of it about the thing. But it's also gotten a lot of bit of the thing. I mean maybe I can be like uh how's that? Closer. Okay, yeah. Um, why? 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 But let's go back to the end. It's That's not tiny. Okay, now we listen again. All the three of them. Yay! File export as wave. <laughs> Save. Alrighty. Alrighty. Torn. Do I finish the thing or do I stop because it's been over half an hour? I finished the thing, of course. <sighs> and then I go back to doing things off camera. Because there's, um, you know, like 19 more files, but only, uh, seven, wow, yay, CV, okay, think about how messed up it is like Clifford the big red dog like it's like um <laughs> I'm glad for her but how did Emily Elizabeth convince her parents to uproot their entire lives and move to somewhere because she had a dog that got too big. Like, why would the dog take precedent over jobs and stuff 
I mean, like, I get it. Like, cause... Cats that I enjoy, I would be very sad and would move a lot of things to make the cats happy, but like, when did Emily and Elizabeth even really bond with Clifford to the point where it would cause her extreme stress for like, you know, Clifford to not be in her life? You know? Because he was a puppers. You know? And dogs are not puppers for long. Like, she could be like, wow, I have such a superficial attachment to this dog. Or maybe, you know, like, maybe. It's a fictional dog and a fictional character. It's a kid for book. It's a book for it's a book for kids, you know, like... That wouldn't happen in real life. Because dogs can't grow to be ten stories tall in real life. And it's like, you know, it's like... Moving is difficult. That's what I was trying to get at this whole time. Moving is difficult. Uh, I think I think I hallucinated something. Um, I'm not sure. Um, uh, yeah, I'm glad y'all can't see my face because it was a scary look of scared for a second. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna stop talking because I'm almost afraid that there is something there and I'm not hallucinating it, but I think I am, so bye.